Welcome back. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about the detail. I'm joined by Manan Shah. He's a VP of product management. We've got a number of questions coming in from the audience about how does this work? What do the wheels look like? How do the doors open and that sort of stuff? So Manan, I'm going to throw it straight over to you. You've got a slide. We're going to build it up piece by piece and show people what it looks like as the topology of the architecture go, 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 go. Thanks, Craig. Uh, and we we'll, we'll love these questions. What I'm going to do is walk through a customer journey. Uh, how does a customer start from day one, from the first minute? How do they build a topology and how do they operationalize? And there's no network that runs without any day to operation. So I'm going to cover the day to operations pieces of it. So the first time when a customer logs in as, uh, as multiple Customers, as well as Atif mentioned in the previous sections, uh, they pick and choose the cloud exchange points that they are interested in. In this particular example, I picked two cloud exchange points, one in AP Southeast and one in EU Central. And uh, as you can see here, I have four segments. Uh, those are the four colors that you see at the bottom. And uh, just by picking the two cloud exchange points, Think of them as your virtual co-location facilities or, or you are essentially build this network hub or transport hub locations and you have extended four VRFs without needing to do anything. Alkira takes care of all of that for you. Once you do that, typically customers look at onboarding cloud workloads. That's the next step that customers do. In this particular example, I have built out a variety of different AWS workloads and connected those VPCs into AP Southeast as well as in EU Central. And as you can see, we have two segments here and we have five VPCs in AP Southeast connecting across those two segments. Now, by default, Alkira provides segmentation and micro segmentation. So customers don't really need to build their own segmentation, build their own network stretching and uh, on all of those entities. Uh, similarly, Google, right? One of the constant themes that we hear from customers is networking is different in every cloud provider. And the limitations are different. The capabilities are different. So we abstract that and we allow customers to literally put in their cloud credentials and we take care of the rest of it. Uh, Alkira, in this particular example, in AP Southeast, has built connectivity to, to six VPCs in Google and five VPCs in AWS in AP Southeast. And as you, if you look at EU Central, we have built connectivity to six VPCs in AWS. I just want to point out something there, Manan. You've just built a network from the AWS VPCs to the Google equivalent and the Azure equivalent, just then, just like that. So, so like, I know it's not just like that, but it is literally just like that. We were actually on a call the other day uh, with the Techion team, and they were actually saying, oh, yeah, no, we just deployed a new site while we were chatting in 15 minutes. And it literally is. You just, because we run the code, the, the, the data into Alkira, and then Alkira just moves it across, and you do all the configuration necessarily, you do the, the GCP part, the AWS part, the Azure part, it all just gets, it, it's done. Exactly right. And, and keep in mind, within AWS, we have two segments. So uh, as you can see here, the, the top three VPCs can talk to each other, but they cannot talk to the, to the fourth and the fifth VPC, but they can talk to the two VPCs in Google. So we provide uh, multi-cloud, multi-region, multi-segment connectivity. Right. All the hassles that you have with config, like if you've never done that, you may never understand just how... <laughs> how difficult that is to do if you are actually going to use Ansible or Terraform and you've got to deal with, with API keys and, oh, it's just, yeah, go on, go on, go on. I won't interrupt you again. Yeah, absolutely. And and so we have, we have three clouds here. The next step, the next logical step that customers do is add internet exits, right? Because anytime you deploy workloads in, in clouds, you need Linux update, Windows update. So you, you need to, you need to have connectivity to the internet. And that, that's the next step. As you can see here, I've deployed uh, internet exits at, uh, with, uh, in both of those segments in both of the regions. One of the key takeaways is you want to provide regionalized internet exit. Now, anytime you deploy an internet exit, what does that mean? The security, is go security teams in every organization is come, going to come knocking on the door, say, how are you securing that? 
So that, that's where we go to the middle portion of the CXPs and deploy firewalls. And Alkira takes care of all of the hassles of deploying firewall in the cloud exchange points. Now, this isn't your firewall. This is your favorite brand of firewalls, whether it's Palo or Cisco or Fortinet. It's their virtual firewall dropping straight into the instance. You would go and configure the firewall rules using that platform, however it goes, right? Correct. So, so customers have their own choice, and we provide a marketplace on which customers can pick and choose their favorite vendor. And we take care of, Alkira takes care of all of the network stitching, the lifecycle of the firewalls, taking the right traffic to the right firewall at the right time, as mm -hmm. well as dynamically scaling up and scaling down as needs arise. So if I've got a 10 gig connection, but I've only got a one gig firewall, you'll scale one, two, three, four, five, as many as needed. On demand, uh, do I have to provide licenses or do you handle that as well as part of your store? We actually give options to the customer. So we allow mm -hmm. customers to bring their own license. Uh, and we also allow customers to consume it on a pay-as-you-go model. So our right. customers have a choice there as well. Okay. Let's look at the list and ask the details. We've got to get this done. Yeah. So, so we deployed uh, VPCs and VNets, and we deployed internet exits. Now we inserted firewalls. Now, the, the fact, just because you deploy a firewall does not mean all traffic goes to the firewall. That's when, that's when Alkira's sophisticated policy engine comes in. And as you can see from the top policy that I've created, uh, this policy is essentially telling you that you're taking cloud traffic to the internet via the firewall. So in this particular case, I can say any cloud-to-cloud -cloud traffic, whether it's inter-cloud, intra-cloud, inter-region, intra-region, I don't really need a firewall. But any traffic that goes from cloud to internet, I want it to be stitched via the firewall. And that is right. what Alkira does. You just define your intent and Alkira takes care of, of the policy implementation. So this again is this idea the traffic comes in, it gets inside the Alkira network, and then it gets steered through the network to be wherever it needs to be. And your policy engine takes care of how that happens. I, as a network engineer, don't need to know how that happens per se. I just need to be, I, I get, I need to check the visibility, check the rules, meet my intent or my policy, and then I'm in business. Absolutely. And you can visualize that. As you can see here, uh, we have visualized what entities are impacted as a, as a part of that policy that we have selected. Okay. Okay. So we, we, did, we did cloud, we did internet, we did firewall. Of course, we need to connect the on-prem connect, connections, right? So we have SD-WAN here, we have standards-based IPsec here, and I, ca I can make my uh, cloud exchange points as hub locations for those SD-WAN. So I may have a SD-WAN overlay in Europe. I may have a SD-WAN uh, overlay in APAC. And right. then I essentially define a policy, connect them and say what they need, they can or cannot access and what segments they belong to. And as you can see in this case, both the SD-WAN hub locations are both multi-segmented locations. So strategically, as we talked about in the first section with, with Arma, we talked about how this doesn't replace or throw out any of your existing networking. You are, in some cases, you're coming in over the top, and in some cases, you're integrating sideways with what existed. So if you've got an existing SD-WAN, say from you know, Cisco's Vitella or whatever, you can integrate. You can integrate with a standard IPSEC. Can I connect B2B to third-party companies with this IPSEC? So if I needed to build a B2B gateway and control traffic to third party here, Absolutely, uh, and that's that's what where we provide standard IPsec. So you can connect to your partners, you can connect to your third-party entities. Uh, we have some some customers who who connect their applications to payment gateways using this model. Right, and this is where the folks at Techion were again saying that Alkira is actually generating the IPsec config, and then you're sending it off to people and saying, "Here, just implement that." Correct. Absolutely right. Right. So I I don't even have to. I just generate the config and say, this is the config for an IPsec device to connect to my IPsec from the Alkira point. It's got all the IP addresses, the access lists, the blah, blah, blahs. It's all just, okay, all right. That's right, that, so, that's how simple it becomes. And one thing that we shouldn't forget is in this day and age where a lot of us work from home, you need to connect remote access. 
and and that is what is built into the Alkira solution as well. So you can come in through a standard space IPsec, you can come in through a high throughput like a direct connect, you can do SD-WAN, or you can connect remote users directly into the Alkira solution. Uh, so mm -hmm. now you have a variety of different models through which you can come through the nearest cloud exchange point and access any workload across the globe. Yeah, so my point is distributed work I call it distributed work, right? And that is a recognition that for some companies, most people will be at work and some will be at home. In other companies, most people will be at home and remote work will be the office, right? So there's no real, but I think there's two things about this. One is it's integrated into the same dashboard that I'm using for cloud networking, for integrating with my existing networks, but it doesn't replace my, I don't have to forklift out. I can gradually migrate to this over time. Absolutely, and and that's how most customers start. Uh, most customers start with a handful of workloads, a handful of clouds, and one technology to connect either the branch locations or data centers, and over time build out the connectivity mm -hmm. that they need. Yeah, you know, I don't have to start full on here because I could say just start with the multi cloud piece, and then I could add my data center connectivity, then I could add my SD, and I could just add on this piece by piece, like just yes. like you've shown me here. Just like I showed you, and, and it's all consumed as a service uh, on an on-demand basis. I want to highlight to people that there is a demo on the site, right? So I can, if you want to see this, it's a little hard to see because there's so much going on on the screen here. But you can go to the alkira.com website and request a demo, and you can do it yourself. Is that right? Absolutely. So if you want to see this for yourself and, and walk your way through a demo for yourself, you can actually go over there and do that. I, I I just want to sort of scratch away. Is there anything else that you've got left to show me for today? I just have a couple of uh, smaller items. Uh, once you build this out, uh, day two operations is is equally important. Uh, if uh, if at all anything, I would say more important because it's not a question of something going wrong or not. It's a question of when something will go wrong. Any network we have dealt with uh, over the past 10, 15 years, we know that things will go wrong at some point or the other. And it's how do you A bit of refreshing shoot? truth. It's not yeah. often you get that. <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay. So, yeah. so we provide health statistics and full visibility into different policies, how traffic is flowing. They can uh, Customers can capture the flow information. Customers can capture debug logs and, and look at the information. And last but not the least is, is route visualization, right? Anyone who has been in routing, it's very important to understand that, hey, how, what routes are coming from where, what routes are advertised where, and it's, it's extremely important to have a handle over routing information across your multi-cloud environment. So that is, that is all built into this platform. So I can actually see all of my routing, I can see all my IP addresses, it's actually graphically showed out to me. So if I need to go see what my topology looks like, I guess I could integrate with some security tooling here as well. Absolutely. So, so this entire topology that you saw it can actually be integrated into your your inventory systems, into your alerting systems. Uh, all of this health information we have customers have, who have integrated into their existing operation operational tools that they have deployed already in the enterprise. Zero trust. We talk a lot about zero trust at this point in time. Are you doing user access controls here into the IPsec or do I have to bring something else? You can you can leverage your identity database, whatever you have, uh, whether it's Okta, whether it's AD deployed in a data center or something else. Uh, we actually integrate into any of your existing tools and users get authenticated, authorized and mapped to a group. And based on the group that they belong, they only have access to whatever the policies define. If I've got people coming in off the SD-WAN and I'm using that traffic to come into the cloud to say, do some inspection or something, can I actually control how they get into the cloud or where they exit? So let's say I'm in a company where I need to log all internet traffic by the users. Can you do that? It's like send all their traffic to a central location? Absolutely. Uh, you can decide. You as an enterprise gets to decide how the traffic flows, what traffic goes through which service, and how the traffic exits at what location. We provide full capability. We provide networking infrastructure as a service. At the end of the day, customers decide how the traffic flows through the network. Okay. Well, I think, is there anything else? I think we've covered all the topics that I want to think of today. I mean, if people want more, they can go and see the demo. Just go to alkira.com and they can see, click it through and start the demo. And then, of course, they can invoke the sales process where somebody can reach out and touch you. Anything else? 
I, I think we covered uh, all the key aspects of what we wanted to cover, uh, Greg. Uh, we are super excited. We are, we're getting a lot of customer interest in, and customers can try it themselves. They can get a feed for it and uh, and onboard as and when they, they would like once they get comfortable with the platform. So I'm just going to call back to this idea of the strategic section that I, I touched on in the opening, which is the, pr- the challenge that I think Alkira solves here that, that they don't often talk about is that you don't actually know what it is that you want to solve. If you're a, building a multi, if you're building cloud integration, do you want your SD-WAN to be connected to GCP or AWS? And a lot of SD-WAN solutions let you connect to one, but stretching to connect to many starts to become an uphill challenge. And I, I think one of the things that you showed me today is that I can just connect to anything and it really doesn't matter. But it's, it, it's that unknown, I don't know what my business wants me to be doing in five years' time. What am I, if I start going down a path where I use a feature of an existing product, will that product exist in five years? I don't know. Uh, what do I need? To, I don't know. You know. And also keep in mind, as one of our customers has said, every organization is one acquisition away from being multi-cloud, even if they have a fully a single cloud strategy in place. Yeah. Uh, a quick question from the audience. Can the flow, to, we talked about setting up the paths. Can I do it a uh, based on application. So I could say this is database traffic, this is HTTP traffic. Absolutely, yes. So we have, a, as I showed on my dashboard, we have a full visibility into, into the applications. And so customers can deploy their policies based on applications. Well, thanks a lot, Manan. That was pretty great, actually. I think that we actually <laughs> done a pretty good job on that. Uh, you'll recall that we've talked all about this. So what we're going to do is go into the next section. I'm going to be joined again by Arma and Atif, both the founders and CEO and CTO of Alkira. We're gonna go through some of the questions that people ask. Stand by, we'll be with you in about 15 seconds. Thanks, Craig.